Hi all, welcome to the Storyline Mohammed El Yunusi play review this 87 rated card you can unlock for being level 15. I got one of my mates, uh, Mark, to unlock it for me. He was going for it anyway. So massive thanks to Mark. I'll leave his Twitter down in the description below. So 87 rated card, you've got Haji, Agudulo or Haji. We've obviously reviewed Haji on the channel already as well, so you're welcome to check that out as a comparison. I'm going to break both down anyway. So you're welcome to smash links always folks, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And hit that notification bell would be massively appreciated. So we've grinded out reviews of the storyline players. I know it's not the team of the season cards, but we've went for something different. Elinusi has 91 pace, 85 shot, 87 pass, 93 dribbling, 49 defending and 77 physical. Been given a healthy boost in all departments in all honesty. And we're rocking him up in this 4-5-1 team to start off with. We go 4-2-3-1 in game. He plays left attacking mid. Um, and the team is really, really nice in all honesty. And like Elinusi slots in nicely. Perfect chem. Obviously that's how you would kind of do, um, implement him anyway. Um, unless you kind of go free at the back. Or you kind of go like SPFL or you try and... F Use like Haaland for example, but he's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot, medium medium work rates. We've played 15 games with him, and he's right footed. He got a good return of six goals, two assists. Now the thing is, a lot of the games people were quitting pretty much from kick off. I from the 15 games, I'd be lucky if I played half. People were just quitting kick off, and it was just kind of annoying. Or if I scored an early goal, they were just quitting on me. I was trying to do. Um, various other objectives for Mark, like Play Online and Laporte, so I was trying to multitask at the same time, but he's definitely a very nice card, I will not deny, obviously his pros are, he's got all round stats, pace and dribbling are on point, the ball sticks to his feet like glue, uh, I will say this, his passing I was very very impressed with, now obviously Cond are the league and there are better left mid and left wingers, but for a free card are you going to exactly knock it? Acceleration is 94, sprint speed is 87. I would easily just put like a hawk on him or whatever, depending on what you're going in game wise. 85 shot with 85 attack positioning, 83 finishing, 90 shot power, 83 long shots, 88 volleys, and 76 penalties. Penalties was a bit of an issue. I had two or three penalties in the games. Uh, one I missed, one I scored, and I think. No, we didn't get the third. I'm sorry, I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, 87 passing with 84 vision, 88 crossing, 74 free kicks, 90 shot pass. 87 long pass, 84 curve. Curve seemed a lot higher than it actually was in game, but each their own of course. 96 agility, 95 balance, 80 reaction, 93 ball control and dribbling, 80 composure. Composure is a little bit light, I will admit, but the ball and his balance in general was pretty much on point. 80 head and accuracy in case you want to try and cross that ball in. 96 jumping, 91 stamina, 74 strength and 59 aggression, so strength needs a bit of work. And that is why I say Hawk is probably a good kev tell you. Why boost the sprint speed up, that needs the work. And if anything else, you really just want to kind of get that, the shooting elements up a, a little bit more, I feel, if you're going to attack with them. That's where I would go. Now, when you compare them to Haji, um, pace is better in Haji, but only marginally. But the ball, I f like, there's, there's minor comparisons between them both. And what I felt fundamentally is El Yunusi, in some regards basically does go a little bit missing at times like he's a great card I will not deny like he if you really want to be honest I would play him as a cam not a left attacking mid that is my brutal honest opinion I wouldn't play him as a left mid he just he's another one of these players that is better in a central position he I was able to get him coming in central quite a bit I was even trying him out sometimes centrally and he worked really well and um, obviously Kent is another comparison so obviously for those that depending who you support and also kind of what you rock up in weekend league would El Unity dislodge Kent? sadly no because Kent for what I've seen and what I've played against him I think he's one of these cards that's going to be very hard to dislodge from a lot of teams but saying that El Unity is a very very strong alternative especially at the left mid kind of element now what El Unity delivers especially I feel is that he can just literally run, like, he can just keep running and running and running, and I feel he has that same element that Haji has, which makes a big difference in both cards. It's just a pity you can't actually have both cards in one team, because then I would actually then say you could even make an even better comparison, because he puts the ball away so well, you can finesse for, f for fun with him, you can pass with him for fun, 
and like he's just such a great little card. Like he, he is like a little pocket magician. Like same with um, Haji. Like I would say, when I kind of looked over them all, that the kind of weakest elements in Haji's game were like his free kicks and his strength at times, but like realistically, and even you could say composure as well, but the same applies with Fel Yunusi, it's the same kind of errors, it's the same things that are wrong with Fel Yunusi is wrong with Haji, so like composure, a little bit lacking in strength, lacking in the free kicks, lacking a bit in the penalties, but they make up for it in good pace, they make up for it in good passing, they make up for it in good dribbling, the ball sticks to their feet like glue, I know a lot of people will say, oh gee, Haji's balance is absolutely got, got god awful, whereas El Unice is absolutely amazing. Yes, it is, both in, a, in fundamental honest terms, Haji seemed to have a lot better balance at times compared to El Unice, only because I think in a central position he was able to kind of hold them up a little bit better and hold people off. Like El Unice was able to still do it with him, especially being um, taller and a bit more, um, not, um, not taller, sorry, he's an inch smaller. But it's, it's maybe to do with like the build maybe of El Unice compared to Haji. There's maybe just enough that makes a bit of a difference. But I would say as well, if you can like four two three one is perfect for him. But just I feel like as a winger, he's just going to get caught out by better players. But saying that, he was up against like foot birthday Cancelo, foot um, like Walker. Um, he was up against like quality right backs, um, I think it was an 80 for one game in Babu but the thing is it's like if you bring him into a central position is when you'll see the difference in, like I think rivals compared to foot champs you'll always notice a difference anyway and especially since I'm using a different team is also another factor but fundamentally Hell Unice's card is a great card but just marginally and I mean for me marginally just not as enjoyable as Hadji, just marginally. If you want to see, if you want me to be precise, it'd be like Hadji's like say a nine point one, Elunis is like a nine. It's like or whatever. It's very very marginal. What lets Elunis down, I feel, is just his positioning. He just goes missing sometimes. That is all it is. Hadji, I felt, didn't do that. But also Elunis sometimes dropped back quite a lot at times as well, even though you're asking him to stay forward and I like to get my wingers to kind of come in so that they don't be like if, if, I, if I'm playing 4 2 three, one, you don't want them staying out wide, you want them to come central and and getting in behind, whereas I feel Hadji you don't have that, you necessarily don't have that problem because he's already a central card and even though he's got a right uh, forward version, uh, even when you kind of play El Unice at a cam, he still has that fear, um, issue of dropping back, but then sometimes going either on the wings and suddenly he goes missing, which is a bit annoying. Whereas Hadji, I feel, just stays central enough, and then when you need him to kind of go left or right, he does it just enough that helps. It's only those marginal things. But saying that, if knowing my luck, if I was to put El Unice in my team over Neymar just to run him out, which would be a bit hard, obviously, but I wouldn't. I would swap um, Rivaldo anyway to make it all work. I would still I'd play El Unice as a central cam player in my team if I was to use him, and I think you would notice a difference even further in El Unice's game. And that's when maybe when you would say El Unice is oh an even better card than it actually what it is. And that's where I feel it's positioning is what you need to nail down. Nail your, if you can nail your instructions down on El Unice, he trumps the freedom by a mile. I will be honest about that. He, his finishing was m as clinical as Hadji's, but like were um, mirror identical. It was just the one penalty miss, which was my own fault, really. Um, I thought I'd put in the right spot, but clearly not. And FIFA um, seems to dislike me for them this year. But it's those marginal things. If you can get El Unice's positioning sorted, that is what it comes down to. He's the best of the three by a mile. Like Hadji's good, but El Unice just trumps even Hadji. Um, El Unice trumps Hadji in that regard, if that makes sense. So, that's what, I hope that makes a bit of sense folks where I'm going with this, because I, I like, they're all great, like, El Unice and Hadji are both great cards, will not deny it. Um, as I said, I only went to Hadji just because I thought central cards appeal more to me to kind of test out a bit more compared to what, I could have tried enough wingers this FIFA. 
um, to run my socks off as it were but let me know folks if you've went for El Unicy, Haji or Aguduo and if so what you think of either of them and hopefully you find this useful so smash likes always folks sub to the channel if you're new for me to Twitter and Jesus Legend and I'll catch you all later